Hey y'all, it's your girl McKenzie Janae here back with another video looking a hot mess because I'm about to do my hair, okay? You guys know how I get while doing my hair, okay? I've already prayed about the situation. I'm trying to keep it together because already my allergies are on a 10. It's probably not that helpful that I have my candle going, but my allergies were acting up before that. So today we're going to be braiding my hair using my crochet hook that I forgot and we're going to be using some braiding hair. I got a bunch of braiding hair. Your girl's about to have purple hair. Holla at me. I'm not going to know how to act but hopefully I'll be able to cover this green pretty well. I got two crochet hooks just to be safe. One of these is bigger than the other. So first we're going to be doing the parting and also I got two brands of hair. I got the Spectra Easy Braid in the purple and I got the Free Tress pre-cleansed hair it didn't have any black in that hair so i got brown hopefully that doesn't look too bad i have my china jam a big container of that and i have some black rubber bands because i have absolutely nothing against using a good rubber band and i have some beads for later and yeah we're just going to get this party started okay so basically i'm just going to be doing my thing and y'all can watch me get this done i'm going to try to give you guys any tips that i think of while i'm doing it i know i want to do like crazy parts or something like i want to do something real cute i'm not trying to be perfect with this so i'm super excited So now we're gonna try to attack the back. Okay? Okay. Oh wait, I can't really see like that. Hold on. I'll be back again.
walk you through this one. So I'm taking some shine and jam. And I'm separating it. I'm putting some shine and jam on my hair. Like when you're doing jumbo braids like this, it's important to have a big hook. So this hook is bigger than this one. So first I'm gonna put it in sideways like this. And I'm kind of like rolling it to fit it in the little loop as much as possible. Okay, so now I'm putting my finger through it and bringing one through. Okay, so now you have two sides. And you could stop there, but I'm doing like three parts. So this is about half of this. like that and this doesn't hurt by the way that's why I didn't put my things tight okay so now it's kind of confused but just go back and separate it make sure your stuff is tight and basically you just start braiding however it feels comfortable to you but you also gotta make sure that your hair isn't sticking out okay so now i'm gonna take some purple and add it to the braid and you don't want to braid down too far without adding in another piece like you really do need a lot of hands for this style because i obviously don't have enough it's all gonna come together but yeah so now i'm gonna go back to fast forwarding i'm gonna just continue braiding this down Alright y'all, so let me first start off by apologizing. I did not show you guys the end of me finishing these braids. I was super tired and just ready to get it over with. Um, the only thing that you missed was my mom helping me do the back of my head and me adding in these beads. One thing I do love is the beads. Like my beads are my favorite part of the whole style. Like, I don't know, braids is something I have to get used to. I'm so used to not wearing them to where I have to get used to the look on myself. Um, I have been getting a lot of compliments on them. So apparently it looks good on me. I just need to get it together. I do love the color, but it's just something about this braiding hair. I did do an apple cider vinegar wash on the hair to help with itching. Now, which my scalp isn't itching, but as you could tell throughout the video, my scalp was pretty dry prior to doing the braids. I actually should have greased my scalp, bad me. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but this hair is like super 
as my clients would say frizzy like it's not frizzy but it's just so fray like you can kind of see what I'm talking about like there's a bunch of frayed hairs and I know I've seen experienced braiders like cut this off because I only soaked the purple hair I didn't soak the brown hair and it's like that too it was like maybe it's something I did like maybe I was supposed to use the shining jam to like braid it down or something but what I was going to try to do is like burn it and see if that helps burning the whole braids if you guys have any tips for like getting rid of the frayed hairs other than cutting it like I know I can just snip it off but I don't know if I feel like doing that because that is what I've experienced itching really bad um first of all these things are really heavy no one says that they're heavy these are heavy without the beads they were heavy um it was giving me a little bit of a headache I ain't gonna lie it was giving me a headache but I've kind of got used to it like the color is really nice and vibrant um I would definitely do color again the process was not hard I definitely did enjoy the crochet method as you can see my parts came out super nice let me show you my parts came out really really nicely so I did appreciate that and I know I was trying to like make them all the same length it turns out I did a horrible job of doing that so I had my mom cut them for me they're kind of like this long they're definitely waist length like they're waist length and then like one thing about my hair my ends are super duper blunt and they're always straight so it's hard to keep them in braids does that just mean my ends are healthy i'm not worried about them the thing i am proud of myself for is that i did not make these braids super tight doing a crochet method you can make it as tight or as loose as you want so i can definitely do them tighter if my rubber band was tighter but what i did when i put it in i kind of like pulled my rubber band out a little bit because i tend to do my hair super tight and then i get a headache so that's why i have my braids more movable you know if you guys want to come to me to get a style like this i could definitely make them more tighter and make them whatever makes you comfortable but i would definitely love to try this style on someone else it was really easy doing the crochet method because i'm someone who does not know how to braid okay when it comes to feed-ins i'm still learning when it comes to box braids i don't know it's just something that has never really clicked for me knotless braids has never really clicked for me um but when it comes to me and a crochet hook we are best friends crochet i'm almost a crochet queen i keep trying to practice and practice to get better because it's just something i'm really good at so more crochet is on the way but i do like this method for while my hair is more shorter so all together i paid 20 dollars for this hairstyle make sure you follow me on instagram at everything by maja where you can see all my client work i am a full-time professional hairstylist your girl got her license recently so clap it up for me i got my license i'm a fashion designer makeup artist all that good stuff so if you would like to see more into my life go ahead and follow me on instagram i'll highlight you guys in my next video